love you guys. See you later. This mask that I got on right now, I got it from this one skate shop here locally. And it's really dope. Uh, it's an N95, like what the heck? This guy right here getting getting married. Inshallah, I'm trying to get like him, yo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got married at 23. He's getting married at 23. My granddad got married at 23. We were Jordan before Jordan was Jordan. Oh, the person someone got married at 25. I was about to say, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you go and get refuted. I know, right? And that's the thing. Be like, oh, boy. He's like, you don't look like you've been reading the seat off, bro. On our way to the Philadelphia International Airport right now. I have my boy right here. He came clutch last minute. Texted him like at 1, 1 p.m. I don't know, 11 p.m. And he came through. He came through. Oh, my back. My man out here helping me out. Uh, Sonic like home. This will be the last. So I made it here last night around like 1 a.m. My flight landed at 11. Got an Uber. My Uber driver was this Muslim guy named Khalid who actually took me around to get something to eat and paid for my food. So big shout out to Khalid. He might be in one of these videos. I don't know. But it was really nice that he went out to buy me food. Always good to see the Muslim brothers, man. Check this out. Like, it says, Welcome, Muhammad. It's a Welcome, Muhammad card. Like, what? This is so freaking cool. Also came with, like, some cool chocolates over here. Nice non-GMO chocolate. And some really dope Italian roasted coffee. I brought my motorcycle helmet, but I don't have a motorcycle to rent yet. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, brush my teeth, get dressed, eat something, and then go get a motorcycle. So sad news, I'm over here trying to rent a motorcycle and I do have my permit, but don't have my license. I've been riding for a year now. So I guess you can say it's completely my fault that I don't have my license. And it's sad because I brought in, I brought my helmet. California is the place to ride motorcycles and I'm gonna miss out on that, but whatever. Next time. So I know you've seen a photo and you looked at this photo and was like, wow, I really like this photo. This is a really nice photo, but you really can't pinpoint what you like about it. So there's a lot of different ways people take photos to get that feeling from you. Today, I'm gonna to tell you three different ways on how to be a better photographer as a beginner. So the first thing is first, rule of thirds. What is a rule of thirds? Well, basically the rule of thirds is, where's my, where's my phone? The rule of thirds places your subject on the left third or right third of the frame, creating a pleasing composition. Thank you, Google. So the rule of thirds is actually used in videography and photography. One famous show that it's actually really used in is Handmaid's Tale. And the handmaids are actually placed on the far left or far right of the screen. And this basically portrays that them being on the outskirts of things and being very unimportant. They're not the main events. The main events usually are in the middle of the frame, but the unimportant people are on the outside of the frame. So the Handmaid's Tales, um, just by the composition, you can really tell that these people, you know, they're not really cared about in the show. Sometimes they really have the camera very close to almost demonstrate that they're suffocating, basically. And they're in an environment that nobody should ever be in. And to have the camera that close, is very uncomfortable, which is what they're feeling exactly. So everything is just way more interesting when you place your subject on those intersecting lines. Now, rules can be broken. Don't think that, oh, I have to follow this every time. Use it to your advantage, and when you have a creative direction that you want to go through, break it if you need to. So this is very easy to do on your cell phone, actually. On an iPhone, all you have to do is go to the settings, scroll down to your camera section, and then toggle the grid on. So the next time you go to your camera, you'll see the rule of thirds being on your screen. And now you can just implement what you just learned here today. Have your subject on the intersecting lines. So the second tip has to do with lighting. More specifically, front and back lighting. What is front or back lighting, you may ask? Well, back lighting is when the main, your main light source is lighting your subject from the back. As we can see, the sun's over there lighting me from the back. And front lighting is when your main light source is lighting your subject from the front. Now, many times I see a lot of beginners have difficulty taking photos or balancing their shot because they're being backlit. And when you're being backlit, 
it kind of exposes you to have a silhouette effect, if you will. This can be your creative choice, if you would like. So when you're outside shooting on your cell phone or whatever, and you see that your subject is a little dark in the front, but there's a lot of light coming from the back, all you have to do is just switch your perspective, and great, now you have the light coming to your subject from the front angle. It's really simple, but a lot of people get this mistaken. So now you never have to worry about making that mistake again from this video. So the last thing I would advise you to do is to shoot raw. What is raw? Well, raw is raw, basically an uncompressed image. Your camera is probably configured to having like a format that is pretty compressed. And basically compressed versus uncompressed is you know those pictures on Instagram where it just looked like somebody edited the crap out of it? Think about that as compressed, where like you really can't change any colors. Everything is just the way it is. You took the shot, and if you want to color grade it or change the colors, it's not really giving you any room to do so. Versus raw, which gives you all the room to change your highlights, change your darks, change your contrast, change your colors, and change your specific colors actually. Raw is just better. Just use raw. Always shoot raw. If you have a camera, shoot raw. And there you have it. Three steps on how to make you a better photographer. Hope this helped. Pretty simple. I had fun. Did you have fun? Hopefully you had fun. See ya. Yes, how are you? Here on Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, first time being in the West Coast, like, ever. And I just gotta say, it's pretty cool. That's the first day exploring in San Francisco today. Um, the Golden Gate Bridge was awesome. I am tired out of walking up those mountains and then down to the beach. It was it was too much, but yeah, everything was great. I'm getting a little hungry now. Uh, today you saw me climb up mountains. You saw some drone footage, and you learned something today. So if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button as well, and the bell notification. Um, yeah, I'm hungry. Peace.